Alarming story here next. Right now, a Webster Groves mother remains in search of answers from their school district after her nine year old boy's finger was sliced mm. off. This after the boy took a tumble in class. And it's possible he may lose his entire hand. News 4's Gabriella Vidal reports on the story now going viral across America. And we're, we're still trying to figure out exactly what happened. Attorney Tim Engelmeyer says it's been an overwhelming week for Talisa Pierce's family after her nine year old son DJ Williams cut off his middle finger on his right hand during a fall at Bristol Elementary School. On Monday afternoon DJ had tripped and uh, in the course of his fall his hand became uh, lodged or, or sliced on a very sharp edge of a filing cabinet. Part of the finger was removed from the hand during that fall, and it was it remained on the on the file cabinet. Three days later, the family remains with unanswered questions. Why didn't the school call 911 immediately after the incident happened? That any chances there were to reattach the part of the finger that was lost kind of went out the window when emergency 911 wasn't called. And why was the family not notified about the severity of the incident? At some point, DJ was taken to the nurse's office. It's, uh, we're still trying to figure out exactly the process, but eventually DJ was picked up by his grandpa at the end of the school day. Uh, the grandpa was, uh, was told that, he, uh, that DJ had a gash to his finger. Well, it was significantly more than just a gash. I mean, it was, it was an amputation of the finger. An amputation that led DJ to the hospital. He asked the doctor, when is my finger going to grow back? Which kind of tugs at your heart a little bit. Engelmeyer, who's been a lawyer and friend of the family, says DJ is in good spirits despite the accident. Very athletic, very uh, rambunctious, energetic, wonderful, wonderful boy. But there's fear he may now lose his entire hand from the severity of the injury. We're hoping and praying that that the damage is done. To clarify, there is no plans for any lawsuit against the district. We're, we'll evaluate everything as, as things progress, but to answer your question, right now we, we have not discussed a lawsuit in detail. Engelmeyer says right now he's helping the family get answers. The district declined to comment about the incident on camera, but say they are investigating. I did send um, a simple letter over to the district today just asking them to protect or secure video and, and other communications from that day. While the family waits to learn more about DJ's injury during their visit with doctors tomorrow at Children's Hospital. In Webster Groves, Gabriella Vidal, News 4. Mm, and we just got an update on this story. We just heard from the lawyer that DJ's mom picked up his finger today from the school. We don't know if it's been on ice or what, but they say that they plan to take it to his appointment tomorrow to see if it is possible to be reattached.